Renee, thank you. Now, a local attorney says his investigator identified the same suspect years ago. So let's turn to CBS 13 Steve Large. He spoke to them about the evidence they uncovered. Pretty fascinating, Steve. Yeah, separate from this group's announcement today, Sacramento attorney Mark Reichel and his investigator John Kennedy say they found the same results in their research back in 2016 when they got a tip about Gary Post and they investigated it, spent a lot of time on it, and again found this man to be the Zodiac killer. Now, they say at the time, Post was serving uh, some uh, time waiting for trial uh, for a charge of domestic violence in Tuolumne County. They reached out to the Tuolumne County DA. They reached out to the San Francisco Police Department and the FBI. Here's first Mark Reichel and then John Kennedy talking about this announcement today, what it feels like hearing this name again. It's a good feeling, but there's there was a bit of, you know, sadness to it that we actually, when he was still alive, we're talking to individuals in law enforcement about, you know, we were confident it was him. I could put him by just looking through old phone books. And when was the last time anybody looked in an old phone book for anything? But going to the library, that simple, and going through Bay Area phone books that put him in the Bay Area at the right times. And then when he moved out of the Bay Area to the Fairfield area, and started a business there, that's when everything with Zodiac stopped. Despite the fact that they say they believe, in fact, that it's Gary Post that was the Zodiac killer, to be absolutely certain, both men say that they would like to see some science to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. They do believe that the San Francisco Police Department will likely uh, be releasing some information, more information uh, later on about this. Uh, but that's where it stands right now. This name coming up here at 2021 after they researched it thoroughly back in 2016.